Hello everybody, Daniel Rothmel here once again with another screencast of a level up in tech project that I'm doing for my DevOps bootcamp. And this one was a lot of fun. So I had some fun doing, I learned a lot and I hope uh, you'll do the same if you follow along with me. So what we're doing for this project is we're going to use CloudFront and S3 to deliver an image, just one image. So this is pretty simple. But it has a lot of application in the real world because CloudFront and Amazon S3 is the way that a lot of websites work. It's sort of the basic infrastructure of a lot of websites, um, especially websites that have users all over the world. Because what CloudFront enables is CloudFront is Amazon's um, content delivery network to deliver content to people wherever they may be in the world at the lowest possible latency. So basically it allows the owner of the bucket to put objects in their bucket wherever they may be and then CloudFront can distribute that content to anyone in the entire world at the, cl at the location closest to them. So that means that instead of having a situation where like I'm in South Carolina and someone's in Australia and it takes a long time for stuff to load, CloudFront enables me to basically deliver that content to them in Australia. So they have the lowest possible latency. So it, it's really the basic infrastructure. A lot of websites you, and applications you use all the time. Um, so that's sort of the real world application of it. And then the way that we're going to do this is like it could have been done through the console. I could have done it through the console. My coaches didn't have any sort of like restriction on how you do it. So I chose to do it using AWS CLI, the command line interface, um, and using CloudFormation. And the reason why is because CloudFormation is Amazon's, uh, AWS's infrastructure as code service. So infrastructure as code or IAC is, you know, the future, the present of DevOps. Like that's the way uh, DevOps works. It's, it's a very fundamental um, tactic in DevOps is to basically use code to build and deploy infrastructure because when we do that, it's much more scalable, repeatable, um, it's much more efficient, it removes a lot of human error because we're not doing things manually. So that means not using the console and using code to deploy the infrastructure, to set up and deploy the infrastructure that we need. And the reason I wanted to use the console is because in the conversations I've had with a lot of current DevOps engineers, uh, sysops, sysadmins, uh, the console isn't really used in the real world. So if the console isn't going to be used in the real world, then when I do stuff like this, I don't want to use it here because I want to learn the way people are doing it in the real world. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use CloudFormation and uh, the AWS CLI to uh, launch um, a cloud formation, I mean a CloudFront distribution with an S3 bucket and we're going to get an image out of it. All right. So let's go to the console and our computer here. Let me move my head out of the way. Okay, now one of the cool things is when, when our coaches uh, gave us this, this project, they didn't give us a lot of instructions, which actually I appreciate. Let me tighten up my microphone here, yeah. They didn't give us a lot of instructions, so we had to research this on our own. And actually, Amazon has a really helpful page that is Amazon S3 and Amazon CloudFront, a match made in the cloud. And so this gives you what you need to use CloudFront and Amazon S3 through CloudFormation. So when you scroll down here, it tells you all about both and how, how it all works. You can read this if you want, um, if you find it. It gives you launch stack. So it gives you the templates that you need in order to use cloud formation to um, launch a stack and with Amazon S3 and CloudFront. But when you click through to that link, it takes you to the console and it doesn't let you really, you know, use infrastructure as code. I mean, it does it for you. And I didn't really want to do that because like I said, we want to use the, the CLI. So I took the template and put it in another file in order to do this. So because one of the things that we need for cloud formation, well, the main thing we need for cloud formation is a cloud formation template. So I took the template that Amazon provided and here it is in uh, VS Code. Uh, so this is the template, okay? So, uh, and you can get this, if you're watching this on my Medium page, it's on there. If not, uh, drothamel.com is my Medium blog. The, the code is in there. Also, I'll have this on my GitHub, uh, github slash drothamel1. Um, so it'll be on there also.
Uh, but here is the cloud formation template. This one is in YAML as opposed to JSON. This one's in YAML. But you can see what it does here is it, the resources we need. We need an S3 bucket. Um, and then it gives us the bucket policy to create the origin access identity that we need for CloudFront, that the bucket needs for CloudFront. And then it creates the distribution for CloudFront. So that's all of that. And the access identity. And then it has outputs here. And we'll talk about this in a second because the outputs didn't really work for me. Um, but we'll talk about that. But one of the things about this template that's important to realize is this is a portable template which means that very little is hard coded in here. Um, so anyone could use this template and it will work. So you can see they use a lot of uh, variables. Um, so in order for the bucket name, so it uses variables you can see here uh, for the bucket name and for the resource um, so that this template can be used over and over and over and over again um, successfully. So that's the template that we need. Now, what you have to do is you have to take this template, save it as a file, remember the name, and then upload it to somewhere uh, that you can access, that you know where you're going to be once you get in the terminal so that you can get to your uh, template. And then also, whatever picture you want to use, you'll see what picture I used in a little bit. Um, whatever picture you want to use, put that in the same place because that'll simplify your commands when we get to the command line. All right. So now that we have what we need, let's go to the terminal. All right, when we get to the terminal, the first thing we have to do is we have to launch our stack. So the command for that, oh, my, my keyboard, just, okay. So the command for that is right here. So we've got the AWS CloudFormation deploy template file, uh, tag tag template file, and then this is the way I saved it. And stack name, we got to name our, our stack. Now, I should mention, I'm in the directory into which I saved the template file. If you are not, then you have to use the absolute path here for the template file. I would suggest just changing into that, that directory. It makes your life a lot easier. Um, so when we hit enter, we will see it says waiting for change set to be created. Now, this is gonna take a couple of minutes. So I'm gonna grab some lemonade and sip on this for a little while, and then uh, we'll be back. I'll pause the video and then come back when it's done. It usually takes five, 10 minutes. Okay, we're not quite done here, but I wanted to show you if you do go into the console at this point, um, if you go into your console and head over to cloud formation, you can see that things are working in the background. So here's our stack uh, that we uploaded, or here's the stack that we named on the template and uploaded. And it says create in progress. And you can go to this and sort of see what's going on. Um, if you check out the events, you can see all the things that are being created and how it's working. So the S3 is created. We should be just about done here. Let's see. Let's refresh it. Nope, not quite. Um, but this should be done in a couple of moments. And then once it is, we'll get a completion message back here on the terminal. So I'm going to pause it again, and then I'll come back when it's done. And of course, it completed right after I paused it. Uh, so here we go. It says you can see successfully created updated stack S3 CloudFront. So if we do go back, we can refresh this now and see that it's loading. There we go. We can see create complete. All right, but back to the terminal. So now, okay, so I mentioned in the code here at the end, it had output that was supposed to output the bucket name and the distribution ID, which we're gonna need in a little bit, and the distribution domain name, which we're gonna need in a little bit, of our CloudFront distribution. But I, it, I've done this a few times and it never does that in the terminal. I don't know where that output goes or why it doesn't do it, but it doesn't. But we can check that stuff. That stuff we're gonna to have to check through the console. Um, but now we can make sure that the bucket is created uh, by simply doing AWS S3, LS. Now, this command is going to list all of the S3 buckets in my account. 
Uh, and then so we can see if we look at the date, the timestamps, this is the one here that was created today. So we're going to copy this because we're going to need it in our next command. Uh, okay, um, so we're going to need that uh, right now. Uh, so your picture, wherever your picture, I would suggest uploading the picture to this directory that you're working in. Um, if not, you have to use the absolute path for the picture. Uh, the picture that I chose is a picture of the greatest hip hop group of all time, Wu-Tang. That's right. And the reason why is because I was listening to Wu-Tang when I was doing the research for this project. <laughs> so it was just in my brain. Plus, I like uh, Wu-Tang's classic Cash Rules Everything Around Me cream. Um, I think the new version should be Cloud Rules Everything Around Me. Um, so maybe they were onto something with the uh, acronym there. All right. So now we're going to uh, use the command to upload that picture into our um, S3 bucket. So we're going to do AWS S3 copy and then the file into S3. We need now we need that ID that we just copied of the bucket. So this is the command to take the file from our local machine and put it in our S3 bucket. So when we hit enter, it says upload Wu-Tang.jpg to S3 where we need it. So we did it. So the the picture is now in the bucket and if we go to the console we can go uh, back to s3 and we can see in our buckets here's our bucket right here getting phone calls that I don't need spam calls. Okay. Here's the, uh, here's the picture right there. So there it is. Now, if we go to the, so now we need to see the picture. If we go to the picture and we use the object URL, you're going to get an access denied error. Now, why would you get an access denied error? Well, because we set it up that way. That was the whole point, right? The whole point was to use cloud for, or to use cloud front to serve this image, which means that you can't access it directly from the bucket. So how do we get to it through CloudFront? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to our CloudFormation dashboard uh, in the stack details, I'm sorry, in the stacks. We'll go back to stacks. We'll click on the stack name. And now we need outputs right here, outputs. If we look at the outputs, here's our CloudFront distribution domain name. That's where we're going to access the picture. So what happens is when we click on this distribution domain name, we actually get another access denied error. But that's because we're just trying to access the actual distribution and not the specific object in the bucket. So we need to put in the name of the file. And when we do that, boom, there's Wu-Tang to greet us. So now we are using our CloudFront distribution to access that photo that we put in to an S3 bucket. And we created that S3 bucket and we created the CloudFront distribution using infrastructure as code through cloud formation. So I think that's pretty cool. Like this is a really foundational um, project to sort of learn basic infrastructure and uh, set up so that we can do more complex things later. But I had a lot of fun doing it. I hope you had a lot of fun watching. And then uh, just remember when you're done to go back and delete your stack from cloud formation. Um, but you have to empty the bucket first. You got to take your image out of your S3 bucket and then delete uh, your cloud formation stack. Otherwise, it'll fail because your bucket won't be empty. But you can delete everything um, and do this over and over again because the cool thing about that template, like I said, is it's portable. So you can use that template as many times as you want and do this with a bunch of different stuff if you want. Um, so I hope you had fun. I had fun showing you. And uh, I'll see you on the next screencast.